Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. This is Zach over at Envy Woodworks. So finally got on that second fire hose project. And what I decided to make was a hatchet handle out of it. So Nick sent me some fire hose and we decided to make a micarta style blank. And I bought this hatchet that kind of had a fireman feel. It's kind of a tactical hatchet that I bought and basically just replaced the handle on it. It was a pretty simple project overall, but it was the first time I've ever done anything like this. So it was a little bit slow going for a while, but I made it through and it turned out pretty good. So stay tuned and let's get started. All right, so overall this project was fairly simple. It wasn't really that difficult necessarily, but you know, I'd never done it before, so I kind of took my time. Uh, first things first, I had to make a blank. And so I basically did the same thing that I did for the, the pen blank that I made. And if you haven't seen that video, uh, I'll have a link to it on the screen, but basically I just cast a micarta style blank using that fire hose. So I just cut it into strips and just placed it in the mold and then added epoxy. I dunked each piece of the fire hose in resin first to kind of get it saturated or soaked onto the fire hose. Then I just put it in the mold. And I also added a, a, an alumilite blank, a, just a quarter inch thick piece of red alumilite and put that right in the middle of the sandwich. Added a little bit of pressure. I didn't clamp down too hard on it when I was making the blank, just added a lid and kind of pressed down, taped it and then pressurized it. Now, once I pulled it out of the pressure pot, then I just took it over to the bandsaw, kind of cleaned up a couple of the faces, then drum sanded everything flat. Then it was time to go and drill out for the, the mounting holes. Now, when I was drilling it, I screwed up one of the holes and I ended up having to backfill that hole to redrill it. And it occurred to me that it might be a better idea to just oversize drill all three holes and then backfill it with red resin. That way the black bolts would kind of be outlined by red. Now, one of the advantages to doing this is it's easier to drill through resin, straight resin, than it is to drill through that fire hose stuff because it kind of leaves fuzzy edges on the inside. So in the end, it actually turned out better and I really like the look of it. Once I had both sides of the blank countersunk and then drilled through, then it was time to drill out the centerpiece where the tang, I guess you would call it, of the hatchet fits in the middle. It was basically a slot that I had to cut into the blank. Now, I didn't have any really good way to do this and there's a taper at the end and everything. So I just basically nibbled away and kind of winged it uh, at the bandsaw until it fit. So I'd take, take a little bit off and then fit it. And once it fit nicely, I stopped doing it. Then it was just a matter of cutting it to shape. So I drew my pattern on the blank and just cut off all the waste at the bandsaw. Then I also trimmed each side. It was a little bit thicker than I needed. And so I cut off about a quarter inch off of each side to make it pretty close to the, the final thickness at the widest point. <laughs>
To shape it, I went over to the belt sander. Now I only have a little rigid, kind of super underpowered belt sander. It's the spindle sander slash belt sander from Rigid. And I gotta be honest, that thing did a fabulous job. It doesn't have much power, it's not a very big belt, but it, it worked fine. So just basically sat there and kind of shaped it. And I added a little bit of contour and, and just kind of kept feeling how it felt, looking at it, trying to make each side pretty much kind of a mirror image. And it just, it took a little while, but overall it really didn't even take that long to shape this thing. In the end, I was super excited about how well this thing turned out. I really didn't know, I was just, again, kind of winging it. I didn't really know what I was doing, just took off a little bit of material here and there and looked at it and just kind of went back to it until I was really happy with the shape. And again, in the end, I'm really happy that I was able to manage getting the shape the way that it is. This is exactly what I was going for and it fits good or it feels good, I should say, in your hand. So overall, pretty much a win on that. Once I was done shaping it on the belt sander, then I just did a little bit of hand sanding to kind of smooth it out. And then I took some thin CA and just doused the whole you know, handle, the blank. Uh, what that did was it soaked into that fire hose and it hardened it. Uh, when you cast it, the epoxy doesn't actually get absorbed. It doesn't harden that, that fire hose fiber really. So the thin CA though, it does penetrate in and it'll harden it. Once it was nice and hard, then I took some, you know, just sandpaper and just scuffed it back and smoothed that hardness out. And pretty much I was done. Now to finish it, I didn't really want to go through and put a big finish on it. I don't want to like spray lacquer it and put a bunch of coats on. It's basically epoxy and fire hose. It's going to be able to handle, you know, the, the elements basically and, and the use. It's not going to hurt it or damage it in any way. So it doesn't really need a lot of finish. Plus, if you put a big glossy finish on it, then you got, uh, you might have problems with it being kind of too slippery. So I wanted to kind of leave it as it was, but I did put a couple of coats of thin CA. I just wiped it on. And what that did was it allowed you to really get in and see through the epoxy uh, because it had sanding marks. I didn't sand it up to a super high polish. Had a little bit of, you know, grit or, or grit marks left, but adding that finish lets you really kind of see in through the blank and see the depth. So it worked out pretty good. And like I said, just a couple of coats of CA that I just wiped on and I'd say this thing is done. So overall, I'm super ecstatic about this thing. It turned out way better than I expected and I think it's gonna work pretty good. So I sharpened it up. Let's go and chop some wood and see how it works. Alright guys, we got through it and it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty excited about this thing. I just want to thank Nick again for sending in that fire hose. I wanted to do something pretty cool with it and I think this is a pretty good project. I think I, I met my goal of trying to make something pretty cool with that fire hose. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I just wanted to mention a couple things. So this uh, hatchet, I just got it on Amazon. I'll have a link on my website to where I got it. So there'll be a link to the post that goes along with this video uh, that's over on my website. And uh, like I said, Amazon, and it's just called an M48 Tomahawk. Uh, I think they call it a tactical uh, hatchet or axe or whatever. Um, it comes with uh, a little, it's kind of a junky <laughs> sheath. It's not really that nice, but it does have a sheath uh, that, that it comes with. And the original handle, it, you know, it's just a piece of plastic. And frankly, it wasn't very comfortable. So uh, if, you get, if you pick one of these guys up, I'd probably recommend, you know, replace the handle anyway, because you can make something a lot more comfortable and a lot nicer than what comes on it. And uh, it's a pretty simple process. Like you saw, it's three, three bolts, basically, that you just unscrew. So pretty awesome project. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a great time making it. So if this is your first time on my channel, uh, we do all kinds of different resin casting projects. I don't necessarily do things like this. This is the first time I've done something like it, but uh, we do mostly turning blanks and stuff like that. So if you're into that kind of thing, want to learn about resin casting or see some cool projects, uh, definitely hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're thinking about getting into resin casting, want to you know make some projects like this or maybe make some turning blanks, but don't really know where to begin, uh, check out my new ebook, The Beginner's Guide to 
resin casting? It answers all those questions, you know, like what do I need to get started? What types of resins are there? How does it all work? Those kind of things. Uh, go check that out. It's on my website. Uh, there'll be a link down in the show notes and up here on the screen. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.